Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly love connections reading, your WLC readings. Um, this is going to be for those of you who have um, particular connections with someone and you want to get insights with regards to that connection in the um, upcoming week or as in when you click on this video. All right. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. I appreciate you guys. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Rising in love for the upcoming week. Scorpio, first three cards would be your energy. We have the Three of Wands, um, Ace of Swords, and the challenge would be the Two of Swords. You're waiting, waiting on something, expecting for some communication, someone to come back, some truth, definitely, because you're feeling, you're getting some mental clarity, probably now you have gone into, whenever I see the Ace of Swords, I feel like there has been some sort of ending, which was the Ten of Swords, and then now you are out from that state of feeling undergoing that painful ending and then now you're slowly trying to get a grasp of the truth of the matter yeah this could also be you um, wanting to have a new idea a new start yeah the challenge here is having to make a decision and able to see which course of action to do next. All right, Scorpio, let's see the energies of the person that you're dealing with. Oh, wow. Are you dealing with an air sign? That, that one wants to come out, so I'll pick that up. Where they are at right now? How do they feel about you? No, this would be their um, current energies. All right. How do they view you? We have um, the Hermit and the, and the Moon. How do they feel about you? Well, you have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Their hopes with regards to this connection is still hope. Star and Temperance. Scorpio. Actions would be Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. All right. You're waiting for some truth to come to come out, waiting for some clarity. Well, the person that you're dealing with probably is an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius is coming in as the King of Swords, as somebody who's wanting to communicate about their truth. Yeah, and with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel that they're wanting to work things out. Possibly the communication will be around um, how to work things out between the two of you. Okay? So pretty much you might be getting that clarity that you're waiting for soon. They view you as someone who is probably withdrawn for now. Probably you're doing your own soul searching, <laughs> watching tarot readings. <laughs> Um, getting some clarity within you, getting to the root of the matter and trying to see what do you really want. Yeah, There could still be some confusion around, they see you as having some sort of confusion with regards to the situation. Possibly they may think that you may not even be ready to talk to, talk to for now with regards to um, discussion around getting more clarity about this connection. But they feel happy with you. Scorpio, this is very good. If someone is feeling Ten of Cups towards you and Queen of Wands, that means they are happy. They're still passionate towards you. They see themselves as being um, in a long-term long connection with you. Mm -hmm. 
and they hope for renewal about this connection. They hope for something. Um, whenever I see this card, I feel that this is a hope of wanting um, for renewal. Uh, renewal of a connection or a relationship that can go a long time. Yeah. Or even renewal of a relationship that is pretty much, you know, people would think that that's really not going to be fixed or not going to happen. But there's possibility for anything that people think it's impossible, the star will give you that little glimpse of possibility. It's the miracles to happen. As long as there is clarity and with these energies right here, King of Swords and that, I do feel that this hope will soon not will soon be um coming to fruition. Yeah. There's also an element of healing here. So they they truly hope that whatever has transpired between the two of you, they hope to bring back balance, they hope to heal whatever has happened. Okay, if you have fought, they want to heal that up. Okay. Their actions. Um, currently, you're waiting, but this person is feeling alone and loved, not being uh, recognized by you. And they're confused too. They're confused. In as much as um, they're confused with a lot of things on what to do. For you, you're pretty much straightforward. I feel that you're even um, just trying to, de needing to decide whether are you gonna wait, or are you just gonna live this um, connection, or cut totally cut this off. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups here. Yeah. This person is feeling left out in the cold, feeling um, unrecognized by you confused but they do miss you even if you say if let's say you know this person is feeling left out in the cold being alone there you're not together perhaps this person may be looking at different options but in their mind it's this fun memory with you Because no matter what, if in the person's heart space, it's the Ten of Cups, they feel that emotional fulfillment with you, that longevity of, you know, there's happiness there. No matter what type of options they are presented to, you'll always be in their heart and mind. Mm -hmm. And currently this person is hoping for healing, but wanting to work things out and communicate. So let's see, what messages do we have from this person for Scorpio? Oh, oh wow, I still remember the good times we shared, pretty much the Six of Cups. You are special to me even though I told you otherwise. You're special to them given that you, you give them that stability of, um, you know, that feeling of fulfillment emotionally. Yeah. And perhaps they might not have spoken that to you. And they're coming in with, they're wanting to communicate. So probably that would be one of the things that they want to communicate with you. And Scorpio, this is the best card I've ever <laughs> drawn today. You are irreplaceable. So whatever choices, whatever confusion that is, you're in their heart and mind. So now you decide and let me know if this resonates. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to leave it at that. Hit like and subscribe. If you need private readings, email me in the um, information down below. And if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.